Hi everyone, uh, i just come to share with you a journal that I've completed, another one of my great big long list of journals that I need to, to finish. So this one's now completed and it will be listed on my Etsy, link will be below. Um, this journal is, I've wrote everything down, um, is eight and three quarters of an inch in length by six and a, six and an eighth this way that way <laughs> um two and a quarter inch spine it has four signatures has 98 pages it has so that's 196 sides if i'm correct um i've used a i've yeah a cereal box and what i done was i when i use the cereal boxes i don't use them as one piece like on on the edge i normally cut it up so that i get this slight little gap in here because it does cook yeah it does cause a lot of creasing with the paper so um i've kind of cut it up into three three sections this cover here the paper here was actually a wallpaper sample um and i really really like that so I've used that on there um, and it's washable <laughs> um, it, I've added some lace trim I think you can see um, these three um, like fabric flowers with some pearl centers I've uh, done some stamping here and it says I uh, want to remember all of these little moments I've got some book corners on here as well hope you can see them so now the light's not great you see them better on the back um, there's a seam binding closure so let's go inside and I'll, I'm just going to do a quick flip of this because really it's it's you know it's 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 to use this journal not like a showpiece it's not filled with so much ephemera it's about actually using and putting your own stuff in so in the inside cover here we have like a script wallpaper which is really nice and the rest is just um from recollections and other paper lines that I'm you know I really can't remember the name of them because they are scraps now or they were scraps I've used a lot of tabs on the side as you can see and some of the paper that um, I cut was slightly longer than like the larger pages but I've left them so that it gives that nice tab look so there we go I've done a little bit of stamping um, I've got some Handmade tags there and some doily tucks. Some book pages here that have been tea dyed or coffee dyed. I can't remember which one now because there's a great big pile of them. Um, so they just get used when they're needed. Here we've got a center pocket and that's the, in the center of every signature. Plenty of places to journal. I left the pages kind of tatty. I didn't straighten them up. <clears throat> you know, here you could actually you could glue things onto. You could create more pages from this. You could glue it down and just I have a little tuck here. If you just glued it here and here. So that's the first signature. Here I've just created a little um, tuck spot. I love how this um, coffee dime come out and it sounds so nice. Some more handmade tags. Another centre pocket. I've left some of the doilies just plain white and the other ones I um, I coffee dyed or tea dyed, I can't remember. <laughs> they are one of the other. So that is the second signature. I think there's roughly about six tag tabs on each in each signature. A 
another centre pocket. enjoying just listening to the sound of the paper. <laughs> Oops, another handmade tag. Another pocket. Another tuck there. Another the top here. And that is the end. So look at all that lovely kind of texture with the the tags, the tabs, sorry, and the pieces of paper that are just slightly sticking out. I really like that effect. So like I said, this is another one that will be going on to Etsy. <clears throat> Link will be below. Um, I need to battle through all these journals because uh, there's like 15 of them, possibly more, um, that need finishing, that need to, you know, to I need them gone really, I need them finished, I need them gone so that I can make more. <laughs> um, anyway, if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching, bye!